Hi guys, it's Shami. So today I am going to show you how to make DIY canvas panels um, to use in your art. Um, this is a really cool idea um, and I'm happy to share it with you. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut out a piece of cardboard. This is just a cardboard from a cereal box that I got from the dollar store and nothing too expensive. And I'm using kitty scissors here, but you could use whatever scissors you want. You just want a shape, a rectangular shape or a square shape. It can be any size you want out of any type of cardboard. You could even use um, the kind that you use on boxes um, that's a little thicker. Um, but it's fun and you can make your own little canvas boards um, to use in your art. This is great if you're starting out or um, if you want to do a project with your kids. Um, I know I have a little nephew and he loves to work with me while I'm working. So we're going to work on this other side here, the cardboard side. Now you could absolutely just use this with paint and do your thing on the cardboard. But um, we want it to have a little bit more structure, kind of like a canvas board. Um, so we are going to use masking tape. And masking tape is great because it's going to prevent the paint from soaking in to the cardboard. It's going to protect our surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tear off pieces. And you can do the tape vertical or horizontal. Um, whichever way you want and canvases have a little texture on them too so it's very subtle like I'll show you in this one it's just very subtle texture so if I put things over this or whatever no one's gonna even really notice or I won't even notice it's just like working on a gessoed surface so we're just gonna line everything up I'm leaving a little bit of hanging on the side because I'm gonna fold that around just like they do on canvas boards because a canvas board is just a big thick piece of board and then they wrap it with canvas so we're going to do the same thing with our masking tape okay and you can let it overlap if you want I don't care if mine overlaps or you could just do it so it's perfectly straight it's again it's all about you and your preference and I'm just really making sure oops, that I am smoothing it down too Okay, so you want to make sure that that tape is really stuck to your surface. Like this. And these come together super quick. It doesn't take any time. I mean, we're only on three minutes for this video, and it'll be done in a second. And you can make the panels as big as you want or as small as you want. And this is great if you want to try out a technique. If you're starting out with art and you don't want to waste, you know, a big canvas board. Um, yeah, then grab one of your little canvases. And you can make these, you know, um, in advance. Like I said, it doesn't take them very long to come together at all. So... We'll just do one more on the edge, just like that. And I mean, you could build these up if you wanted to. You could add tons and tons of layers. I'm just going to go in and smooth everything out. And then we're just going to turn it over. Okay. And I'm just going to fold all my little flaps over, okay, just like that. And make sure that it gets right on the edge. So you probably want to do a couple at a time. Just like that. And then you can smooth everything out. We'll go on the other side here. I'll just turn it around. Do a little bit at a time. And it's wrapped. Okay. And then you're going to use gesso. You can use homemade gesso. You can use whatever kind of gesso you want. You could even use white paint. But gesso just gives our surface a little tooth. And that's what we want. Okay, so I just have a big brush here. And I'm going to take some white gesso. And I'm going to brush it over. Just like that.
as I said, it's just going to give it a really nice surface for me to do collage on, for me to paint with, and it just has a little texture. And the gesso helps it so that the paint doesn't seep, you know, between the edges. And I can do lots of fun stuff with this. And you could do a vertical or horizontal, just about preference. And you can do as many layers of gesso as you want. But I'd probably stick with one. And I will leave this overnight to cure, um, just to make sure that that gesso is nice and dry. All right. So that's the way it looks. Just leave it to dry. And then you have something that looks like this. And you can frame them. I love framing my canvas boards and do just all sorts of fun projects with them. And they have a little color on the back. You could paint, gesso the back or paint the back. Do whatever you like. But hopefully that is a quick idea that we did in less than six minutes um, that you will enjoy. And I hope you make tons of these canvas boards. So I'm going to let these dry. Let them cure. Um, if you know a friend who you think would like to know about this techniques, please share this video um, for me, would you please? Um, it helps me so much and it helps for people to discover my channel. And um, don't forget to leave me a comment. I read all your comments. I can't respond to all of them sometimes, but I do put a heart so you know that I took time to read them and they mean so much to me. You guys are so kind. Um, yeah, and I think that's it, guys. Hopefully you have fun making these DIY little canvas boards. And um, I'd love to see what you make with them. We're going to have a couple tutorials where we actually make things with them in real time. So that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video. Just hit the share button below the video and you can share it on Facebook, which would be awesome. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.